Hello, and sadly we have a review fail today, and it is the FreeSky um, F7 board with the onboard uh, R9 receiver. But uh, just before we get into that sad story, a quick reminder to please like or dislike this video if you didn't like it, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done already, and don't forget to click the little bell in the corner there which tells you when I'm uploading stuff. So what do we have here? It's um, it's a bit of a sad story because FreeSky sent out this flight controller. It is a FreeSky uh, Omninex F7 flight controller with a built-in R9MM module which sits, uh, you've got a floating IMU there and the receiver would sit in here. And to be honest it was a really a very exciting looking flight controller. It had some really good things going to it and I'd already filmed a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'd already put many hours into doing some stuff with this in terms of filming the sort of the what I thought about it what the specs were and how to update the firmware on it because that wasn't very clear before um, it, it died horribly and some of that I can blame on myself some of that I can blame on the board but we can do a lot of blaming on the uh, on the actual method you have to use to to do things with it so here's here's what we had we had this lovely f7 board which is highly highly spec'd it's got multiple imus it's got loads of uh uarts it's got pretty well thought out pin connectors uh, i mean it, and, and obviously it had the uh an r9mm which is at the moment sitting in my hands so the idea is it's like an all-in-one on the stack there i mean it's quite thick because it's got these two uh plastic things there but it was going to be special i was hoping so it didn't go well from the get-go because what I actually found I had when I looked closely is although the R9MM looked all connected up and I had the uh, nice T antenna on, it was actually not connected properly. And so I had to take that apart to, to put that on. And then FreeSky said, first thing you need to do is update the firmware. And it's like, oh, okay. And they sent me this thing saying you need to connect to um, S-Ports and ground and voltage in and they sent me this picture and I thought at first it was just like the wrong picture for the board so I connected it on the flight controller to uh, smart port voltage in and ground and I didn't get a response from the receiver and they said no 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 you have to connect it actually to the receiver so you have to take the receiver out uh, you can actually use a, have the ribbon cable in and you have to solder on these tiny little pads and update the firmware that way. So I did that and at the time the the firmware available was just for the R9MM uh, which I put on there and that went on fine and, and here's a video of, of me actually doing it. Um, obviously it's not particularly useful to have to uncase this and, and solder bits on and then update the firmware and unsolder it and put it all back. So what happened is I then plugged it into USB uh, you can see the board all light up quite happily, but it wasn't supplying power to the receiver. So I then looked at the pinout for the um, the ESC connector, which is this one on the side there. Um, connected that up, put voltage in and the ground in, because that's all I needed from, what was that? That was from a 3S system. And the idea was this was a VBAT con connection. And that made the receiver light up quite happily. So I managed to bind the receiver. That was all good. Plugged it in the USB again and the board is, is completely dead. Um, I plugged the power back in again and the board is still dead but the receiver is lighting up so the, the, the voltage regulator is obviously working but the rest of it isn't. At this point I talk back to FreeSky and say what's what's uh, happened here? I think, I think I've blown the board somehow. I followed the, the pinouts but the board's not lighting up. Their point of view was no no I think it's fine what you've probably done is put the wrong firmware on it. Now at the time I had this, there, there wasn't actual firmware for this, but now there is, and it's specifically you needed to use the F-port uh, firmware, which has its, its own one for this particular receiver that's in there. So I went back and I resoldered up the connections here, and the solder pad for the S-port uh, came off. Literally, I just dabbed it with the soldering iron to put it on, and it's like, it's come away. Oh no got back to FreeSky again and it's getting embarrassing already at this point and said look I think I've broken it uh, anything I can do and they said yeah hook it up to these two tiny little resistors here and very delicately I did that and I got a good connection as far as I was concerned plugged it into Theranus and it did not respond so I thought maybe it just 
needs a little bit more solder on there. May was a mistake. Put that on, and then I managed to hit some other components with that blob of solder, and the the point of getting that solder off basically wrecked uh, a couple of those resistors. And it's like, oh no, I've I've murdered it. This is not good. But yeah, so I've killed the board. Now, I took this off because I thought, I don't think, I think I have blown this from the get-go. So this is definitely dead because I killed it. This is also dead and won't respond to power input or USB input. So it's all dead. Fail. Now, of course, some of this is down to a certain amount of incompetence from me in terms of, you know, I lifted that solder pad. But, I, you know, I stand by the fact that I literally just touched this with my soldering iron it was it was kind of like okay and that is on that and the the other survived i followed the pinouts for that and it seemed to blow up so it's kind of not my fault uh but it kind of like i've, I've got no review to show you it's a real shame because i was really looking forward to see what this could do this seemed to be a really nice flight controller um r9 aside it just i was i was looking forward to it but now it's dead. I spoke to Freeze Guy about this and it's not a good state of affairs when you have to, you get this all in one board and you have to take this out, take this out, solder onto it to just do the firmware updates and take it off again. And of course, being the R9 is very much in development and you're gonna to have to do a lot of work on it. Just, just to back myself up slightly, I wasn't the only person who had a problem with it. Oscar Lang got one and he's much better at uh, doing things than me and he managed to uh, damaged the ribbon cable so he ended up doing a workaround and connecting um, from the solder pads directly onto the flight controller but at least he's got a flight controller that still works but the good news on the horizon and this is for R9 stuff in general is free sky tell me after I was telling them about the amount of hassle I was having and the fact I've managed to break it and most of the time I generally do know what I'm doing and I'm not blowing too much stuff up. They said they are releasing their wireless protocol soon. So the idea is with that, much like the TBS Crossfire, is you will be able to update firmware on R9 receivers without having to solder things for them again. And it's not just this. If I and th There is firmware available now for the R9 that I've got installed on, on one of these quads here. And I'm going to have to take that out desolder it, solder some pins to it just so I can bring the firmware up to the same level as my radio. And that is a pain, obviously. You don't want to have to do that. And when you're doing it with little components on here, you're more likely to damage them. Well, I certainly am. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So there, there's nothing to talk about other than the fact that I can't make this work. Um, I'll be looking for Oscar's review on it, really, to see if it's any good, because uh, they're not exactly offering to get me a new one. So, here, you are. anybody want a paperweight? So let's all wait and uh, hope for the best for the wireless protocol. In the meantime, I will catch you later. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.